Let me show you what the clutch should be doing during the agitating cycle, the draining cycle, or the spinning cycle. This video will show you how the clutch works and it will be easier for you to diagnose a clutch problem. With the cabinet removed from the washer, you can see that the clutch is located on top of the gear case. During the agitation cycle, the motor runs on a counterclockwise direction and the clutch drum should not move at all like this. When the washer finishes the agitating cycle, the timer will stop the motor. After a minute, the timer will turn the motor on and this time the motor will run in a clockwise direction for the drain. The neutral drain is engaged and the clutch drum should not turn at all. The motor will continue to run until the washer is empty. Then the timer will stop the motor for about 5 seconds. And when the timer turns the motor on again, the neutral drain is disengaged and the clutch drum starts turning like this. If all the other parts that have something to do with the spin are ok, the washer will spin properly. That was the way that the clutch supposed to be working. If when the washer finishes the cycle and you open the door on the washer and the washer has drained all the water but the clothes are dripping wet like this or if the clothes are not dripping wet but you could easily squeeze water out of them you need to check the clutch to see if it's slipping or if it's worn out. To check it do the following. Set the washer on the rinse cycle and turn it on. Let the washer fill up, drain and spin or do whatever it's going to do. Let it go all the way to the end of the cycle. As soon as the washer finishes, lean the washer against the wall like this. Make sure that it's secure and it's not going to fall down on your head, ok? You will need a bottle like this to spray a little bit of water on the clutch. Spray a little bit of water on the clutch. If the water boils or smokes like this, the clutch is slipping and you need to check it out. When the washer is spinning properly, there's no friction and the clutch should not get hot. But when the clutch is slipping like this, the clutch will get real hot and that's why when you spray a little bit of water on the clutch, the water boils. Let me show you how to remove the gear case. Start by disconnecting the washer from the wall outlet. Turn the water faucets off. Put a towel under the water valve to catch any water drips and remove the two fill hoses. Put the towel under the drain hose and remove the drain hose. Open the door on the washer and remove the agitator. Put something on the floor to lay the washer on his back on it. Let me show you how to remove some of the parts that you need to remove. This is what you need to do to remove the pump. This is how you disconnect the wire harness from the motor. This is how you remove the wire harness from the holder on the gear case. To be able to remove the gear case, you will need to remove these three bolts or screws. Now that you know how to remove those parts, let's remove the gear case. Disconnect the wire harness from the motor. And remove it from the holder on the gear case. Remove the pump from the motor shaft. And stick it between the cabinet and the frame out of the way. Remove the three bolts that hold the gear case in place.
use one of the motor holding clips as a handle and wiggle the gear case right out like this I use a vise to hold the gear case in place because it's easy for me to film and show you what you need to do you could do it on the floor or on the table remove the thrust washer use a flat screwdriver to remove the clutch support ring use a skinny screwdriver to remove the retaining ring ring and remove the clutch assembly this is the way that a new clutch assembly looks like it brings everything you need to replace the clutch always follow the instructions that come with a new clutch before you could install a new clutch you need to put this plastic ring on the drum like this now you're ready to install the new clutch assembly install the new clutch assembly like this make sure that it falls in place okay turn the clutch around until this hole is in the front install the retaining ring hook it up on the hole set it up like this grab a needle nose pliers and compress it until it falls in place then, then turn around a couple times to make sure that it's all the way in install the clutch support ring just push it in and install the truss washer turn it until it falls in place next you will need to replace the old brake cam to remove the old brake cam you will need to remove this seat clip use a small screwdriver like this then use a needle nose ply to take it out remove the old brake cam even if it's good and install the new one to, to install the C-clip on the groove just set it in place and use a pair of needle nose pliers to drive it in like this before you install the gear case assembly you have to reset the brake assembly grab it turn it counterclockwise and push it all the way in and leave the spring on the top now you're ready to install the gear case before you could install the new gear case you need to grab the brake assembly like this push it in turn it counterclockwise and leave it in this position make sure that it's all the way in make sure that the spring on the clutch is facing the pump like this you will need to transfer the clutch from the bad gear case to the new one and the motor mounting plate so watch the video on how to replace the clutches you need to see how it's done now grab the gear case and slide it in you may have to wiggle it a little bit until it sets in place I hope you notice that I'm using one of the motor mounting clips to make it easier to mount the gear case now screw in the holding screws now you could use a ratchet to tighten the holding screws or bolts set the pump holding clips in place and install the pump and snap the pump holding clips over the pump to hold it in place
and connect the wire harness to the motor. Stand the washer up and install the agitator. Install the drain hose and the two fill hoses. Open the water faucets and try the washer to see how it works now. 